five realities of sex in marriage. Yes. The first thing is that God made you unique. You are unique. So you're a male, you're unique. You're a female, you're unique. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ayodhi Jani Furoshi and this is Great Father, Great Husband channel. And then today we'll be discussing something very, very, very important to your marriage. My marriage. My marriage is very important. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so that you can get uh, notified whenever I release videos. And you can check my other contents. For subscribers that are already here, thank you for subscribing. For the newbies, welcome. If you are not yet subscribed, join the family. Let's do something good. All right, five realities of sex in marriage. These are the realities some people or we, we are not being told sometimes when we come together in marriage, and we, we, we already have some mindset. If you have not seen my video on uh, lies about sex in marriage, I think you should, you should check you should check out uh, uh, that video, and then you're gonna understand that there is actually some lies about sex in marriage that we need to know, uh, so that we we don't get into uh, that uh, that 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 deceit believing that things should be a certain way which won't be the first thing is that god made you unique you are unique so you're a male you're unique you're a female you're unique so understand that so your gender that you are you're a man god didn't make any mistake that's number one so god didn't god god didn't make you a woman because he knows what he was doing he made you a man. He knows exactly what he's doing. So that's one reality about sex marriage. You understand? So that you are the man that uh, you need to release out sperm to your to your woman to, to to be pregnant. God has a plan. He didn't make any mistake. That's one reality. Number two reality is that all human have different sexual drive. So don't go into a space for you to start comparing oh you're not like uh, this person you know maybe maybe you're kind of person that you have you have you have experienced you have gone into sex before my marriage which i don't have anyone to do i don't i don't prefer anyone to do such don't but you have you have and then you, have, you not start comparing your wife to your ex or before i go marry you know you're not like you know i said don't do that every human being is different and that's why each marriage is we need to now manage the sexual drive of your spouse you're going to manage it together and see how you can maximize the potential in it and not look at it in a different way that it's going to create issue and make you start comparing don't go into that level of comparison don't go there at all it it creates issues in the marriage so so the reality be real with yourself your wife sexual drive cannot be the same with yours if it's same with yours congratulations but it might not necessarily be on at the same level so get that straight the third one is all marriages have their sexual challenges marriages are different trust me you think you're the only one having issues in your sex oh it's a lie i did like i said we are we are still getting better today so don't be deceived don't get into that lie thinking that it's only you know it's only just every every family have their have their own challenges in the sex area and everyone that is wise are trying to work around it and get better every day so what differentiates one marriage from another is how they manage those challenges it's not that it's not happening it's happening in all marriages but how they manage it is what matters that's very important number four is that you can create your own experience when couples decide to work together to create the kind of experience they want it's either good or bad how if you put effort together you know negatively you know to impact your sexual life in the marriage it could give you a bad experience if you put effort together a positive effort together to create the kind of experience you want it's going to give you a good experience so you can work out things together oh you've been hearing testimonies of i've shared how we, we've gotten better over time yes you've been hearing testimonies of other people how they've been, they've been able to to manage their sexual life yes if you manage yours too and you and your spouse put effort together you're going to be better you get better every day get better every day every day and the fifth point is ed knowledge can't help you 
that's the reality i wanted to know oh you think you think you understand you know no sorry i'm sorry actually for women you think you, you understand your wife so much oh no no we are all work in progress so we, we get to understand everything so head knowledge can't help you so get verified and approved help the number one help you want to get is to talk to the holy spirit if you have not yet given your life to jesus it's not too late to do so when you do this you have access to the holy spirit that is able to teach you when jesus christ was living the earth he said i will send to you the comforter who will teach you all things he remind you all the things i've taught you so 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 for you to get that verified help you, you need to know jesus and then invite the holy spirit into your heart and the holy spirit will be begin to tell you ah uh, so in the same way he has also positioned people around you that are verified and approved that can counsel you, that can tell you, teach you. Myself and my wife have had opportunity to counsel a few people, you know, who have issues in their sexual life and, and you know, they've, they've gotten better today. So if you feel you want to reach out to someone, I'll put an email address uh, to scroll on the screen there and then you can always reach out. If you feel confident enough, drop your comment and we will get back to you. Until we see next time, my name remains Ah Your Deji and Don't change the doubt and God bless you. I love you guys. Bye.